Hey guys, what's going on? This is the Eric Barber here, the world's greatest tech reviewer, and I will be reviewing the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Quite a big difference in quality jump from my Samsung Galaxy S8. Uh, a few quick highlights of this phone before we hop into the review. It comes with its own S Pen, kind of like its own stylus. Uh, we have a whopping four cameras on the rear and a 40 megapixel camera on the front. Uh, for my social media enthusiasts, uh, this is the first Samsung, uh, at least from its main flagship Samsungs, to actually be integrated into social media such as Snapchat, TikTok, etc. So we're gonna go see how that looks as well. And of course, this is the beefiest Samsung phone in terms of hardware specs so far. So let's hop into the review, guys. The S22 Ultra has a 6.8 inch screen, including the rounded corners, utilizing the whole phone as a screen. The phone looks great with the Samsung Infinity O display with the 120 hertz refresh rate. While playing demanding games, the phone stays smooth graphic wise and no drop in frame rate. I will say at times, if the phone is plugged in while playing one of these intensive games, the phone will start to heat up a bit, but no performance drop. As for social integration, this is the first Android phone that I've used that feels fully integrated for Snapchat, TikTok, and more. Here we got some side-by-side -side shots between the S22 Ultra and the iPhone 13. These photos have not been altered in any way. So at times the iPhone 13 can look a little bit more saturated, more color. That portrait is taken from the S22 Ultra. And here is a side-by-side -side video. Again, no alterations done to the photos or the videos. As for the battery life, it does push the limits a bit with a 5,000 mAh battery. I will say as a casual phone user, uh, sometimes at even eight, 10, 12%, the phone will randomly die, which I think is really unfortunate. I know a lot of other people have experienced these issues. I pretty much only charge my phone when it's idle, not all the way off, and that takes about one hour and a half to go from 0% to 100%. Well guys, that is going to wrap up my review of the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Overall, I really like this phone. I love to take photos and videos with it. I will say for the social media enthusiasts, I do not think it is as well integrated as the iPhone. I still think iPhone looks better for TikTok, Snapchat, etc. But it is a very noticeable and big improvement, especially from the Samsung Galaxy S8 uh, that I used earlier. I absolutely love the screen quality. I love to watch movies, Netflix, HBO Max and gaming. I really only play Pokemon Go these days, but someone was like, dude, your Pokemon Go looks so much better than mine, and we compared it, and the refresh rate was so much better. The saturation looks great. I will say the only thing that really hindered, because I'm kind of a social media guy, is the battery life and the difference in quality between um, iPhone and Samsung. But overall, this is probably the best Samsung phone to date, so I'm really happy to own this. I hope it gives me a lot of mileage down the line. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.